modern solution for getting directions is to ask Siri. But what happens when the question is, hey Siri, find how do I run a FANUC robot? Or how do I rapid prototype a liquid material tank? Well, her answer is, I don't know what you mean. There's a community college that knows exactly what the manufacturers in their region need. Next, on Elevate Iowa, experience the ultimate collaborators. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. Open channels of communication between industry and colleges can breed fruitful interactions. A prime example of this is the relationship Northeast Iowa Community College has with manufacturers in Piasta, Iowa. Three stories of success in real-world problem-solving exist right across the street from the school. We produce pressure washers, air compressors, generators, uh, water treatment equipment, um, and a bunch of other uh, construction-based stuff, water pumps, job boxes. Camso is a manufacturer of off-road wheels and tracks. This particular plant in Piazza does agricultural tracks and wheels with about 85 employees. We're a custom machining CNC job shop, which means we make a lot of these parts. Um, a lot of them go on hydraulic cylinders, ends of hydraulic cylinders, inside of hydraulic cylinders or pneumatic cylinders. Business partnerships are essential. If you don't have businesses working with you and partnering with you, you're not able to move any program forward. In development of one of our new pressure washers, we were designing a detergent tank. Now we had had the detergent tank, the very, very original prototype, uh, completed and, and, uh, and prototyped by another manufacturer uh, that was a partner of ours, one that we private label for. They didn't have the response time that we needed for our second and third prototypes. Now through our relationship with the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program, we knew that they had a 3D prototyping uh, printer, and so we went over to see if we could use uh, their equipment to our advantage. But the really good thing about this is when we prototype this up, there's no tooling costs involved. So we went through two iterations of different designs. If we would have this tooled up, effectively we would have spent $30,000 on the initial cost of the tool, but then we would have had to revise the tool, which could have cost us upwards of $10,000. The college gave us the, the constraints for the printing area and you can see here that I actually split it into equal parts to maximize the printing area so that each time we printed it, it printed the most it could. We were able to turn around a tank in four days, whereas if we had this hard tooled up, it would take six to eight weeks to get a tank. And it was very important because people really do want to see the product itself. They don't want to see stuff on a computer. That's great for a visual concept, but really when the rubber meets the road, they want to see it on a piece of equipment. I think the point of pride of that is, is that they came to us with a problem and we were able to help them with a solution. And I think that's what a community education system is all about, right? Even though it originally was about saving time and money, it's also about, wow, this is what our students can do. We can help get a prototype for them to be able to implement and that they then can produce and get additional contract and hire additional employees. So we're a part of that whole economic growth. A few years back, we introduced robots into our manufacturing environment to stay competitive in the areas of robotic welding and uh, grid blasting. Not being very familiar with the equipment, but wanting the, uh, certainly the output, uh, we went back to the manufacturer originally of the robotic equipment. Uh, realizing that over time that became very expensive and time consuming, uh, we looked in other areas and Northeast Iowa Community College uh, was able to supply that resource um, far beyond our, our expectations. I was not very familiar with robots at all. And so this was my actual first class. What it did for me was improve the way I could help the process move faster. I work more on efficiencies and uh, time studies and stuff like that than anything. So just by learning to be able to maneuver the robot and set up the programs differently, we can increase our cycles and obviously produce more product at the same time. So it's really benefited my job a lot. 
Um, I first took a class in Davenport um, at Genesis for robotic welding, and then um, a couple years after that, I've worked with robots throughout the years, and then me and Marty and five other guys went to NICC for additional training. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. <laughs> the, efficient, <laughs> the efficiency is unreal compared to a human. Oh, There's yeah. no keeping up to a robot. It's nice to see something do exactly what it's supposed to do all the time. That never is take breaks. Part. And not take breaks. With Camisol, wow, being able to help them, they're having robotic welding, and being able to take our robotic welding equipment and work with them to establish a robotic welding training program to meet their need on a short term notice. Keep in mind, a lot of this is flipped within months, not within years, it's within months. So it's responsive, it's innovative, and it's interactive, working with businesses and the community and students to really meet their needs. So sense of pride every day. That's what keeps me coming back to work. Actually, when I was in like eighth grade, my brother was in high school and he brings this little gadget home from school that he made. It was just, just a turn product, something similar to this. It had more steps on it. And um, I'm like, that's cool. I go, where'd you buy that at? And what's it used for? And he goes, I made it at school. And I'm like, you're kidding me. And he's like, no. After he graduated, I wrote all these classes down, what classes to take. So I took all those classes after I graduated from high school. I got a $500 scholarship. I went to NICC here, which is, was Northeast Iowa Community College. By having NICC right here in Piasta and our machine shop here in Piasta, it's just a good experience. Um, the students can come down here with the teacher. We usually host a, a little tour every year for the students to come down and just look around, ask all kinds of questions, learn more about actual machining on a machine shop floor, what parts we do. And then I usually hire a couple of them students at, for the internship here. We give a lot of experience to those students and they just pick up so much more education. Our president, Dr. Ling Chi Wee, and my personal philosophy is that we're a college of the community and it's all about servicing the community. So that's a point of pride for us. Just like working with Decker Precision and working with Randy. Randy's an alumni of our college and what he's giving back from curriculum development to working with our students to giving equipment, donating equipment, donating supplies, expertise, hiring our students. What a point of pride that is, is that we have students who have graduated from us that are giving, giving back to other students. What you see here in our labs is really the ability to look at what are we doing in engineering technology, what are we doing in our computer and numerical control, what are we doing in our welding, and in our industrial maintenance. And why did we pick those four signature programs? The sector boards helped us discern that that is the right thing to do, and also to make sure that we're going down the right programming, and also supporting, because if they're not willing to do internships, the job shadows, and hiring our students, and being able to get input on the curriculum, it's all for naught, right? And so, and they have a need and they wanna be partners.